Hi, Zachary Burns, N8ZAK. Today I'm here at the W8ODR Ohio Digital Radio Club, which is an experimental club in Perrysburg, Ohio. We focus primarily on the uh, digital uh, forms of uh, amateur radio. And today we've received the Yesu DR1X Fusion repeater system. And we're going to do a live unboxing and uh, fire it up and show you some of the system's capabilities. So we're excited to bring this to you. We're one of the first clubs in the country to receive the unit. And uh, let's get started. Okay, here we've got the uh, unopened box from uh, FedEx. Just got picked up. So uh, let's see what's entailed. <laughs> a box inside a box inside a box. So let's get rid of some of these boxes and we'll uh, keep going. Owner's manual, warranty cards. We don't need that, right? And uh, looks like we got some uh, power cables. And uh, the repeater itself, which is a uh, rack mountable unit. Okay, we've got it uh, temporarily set up here in the uh, test uh, shack, and uh, just FYI, they give you some of the 12 volt cables, the um, uh, accessory uh, connector, so you can actually uh, plug it in and do firmware updates from a PC, and uh, a spare fuse, and uh, looks like some feet also for the for the bottom here. Uh, the only thing I've done here is I've hooked up a uh, to the TX side of the repeater is just hooked up a little uh, dummy load uh, just because I'm not sure what's going to happen um, and I don't want to transmit anything over the uh, over the air or damage the uh, finals here so I went ahead and put a a, uh, a dummy load on there just in case. Let's plug it into some power. sticker here and turn it on and uh, this is all touch screen so you can actually uh, go through some of the different menus and set up all your all your features here so uh, let's uh, set up the clubs frequencies and we'll uh, get a mic plugged in here. This actually uses the standard uh, Yesu, uh, Yesu mic here, which comes with most other uh, other Yesu products. I'm going to use the uh, MH48 and we'll plug that in and we'll, we'll, we'll get started and do some tests. Okay, we're ready to get started here and uh, the first thing we want to do is uh, set the club's uh, call sign for IDing purposes. So we're whiskey eight, Oscar Delta Radio. And so we're set up there. And uh, of course we wanna set the club's uh, frequencies. The uplink is the RX side. So uh, we're going to receive on uh, 4495125 and 
and we're going to transmit on 4445125. Uh, the duty cycle for this is rated at 50% uh, on high power. So uh, as you can tell right now, we're in low power side. No activity is happening and the fan is on. So uh, let's go back here and set our, our tone. And we're going to do... Uh, We're going to do a tone of 103.5 if we can find that. So uh, we're not going to do that right now. Under signaling, tone, and we are going to have a DCS possibly. It depends on, on what's going what's to happen in the area here. And uh, we're going to ID every 10 minutes. And we're going to do it CW mode, uh, 20 words a minute, that's fine. So, let's see, we've got a dummy load on the transmit side. So let's see what happens here. So we've got the club's call signs uh, plugged in here and the frequency's set. So we're going to turn the power on and give it a test. There's the call sign so you know it's transmitting. We've got it set in auto mode and uh, a fixed transmit mode so it's going to receive anything whether it's digital um, data or uh, just plain old analog FM and we're always going to transmit an FM just to test this out so uh, let's give it a test here and see if it IDs properly N8ZAK testing so we see it transmitting we hear the tone and uh, everything sounds good so uh, yeah, we're all set, ready to go. We just did it on low power here just to test in the dummy load, and it looks like we're all uh, we're all good to go. So we're going to put this uh, repeater online in the uh, Perrysburg, Ohio area and uh, give it a shot. So uh, this is uh, kind of some new exciting technology, and uh, I'll do some demonstrations in the digital mode just so you can uh, hear the uh, analog versus the voice, and maybe we'll do some D-Star comparisons and that kind of stuff. So... Uh, if your club does have the opportunity to pick up one of these uh, repeaters at, uh, I believe they've got a pretty good introductory price. We only paid $500 out the door, uh, taxes and everything included. So it's uh, kind of a win-win if you want to start replacing some of that older aging repeaters you have and get into the uh, digital era. Uh, you've got some really good options and uh, some good capabilities here too. So 7-3 from N8ZAK and the Ohio Digital Radio Club.